hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna be doing a little eyeshadow tutorial it's gonna be very simple and chic why simple because it's gonna be a couple easy simple steps and chic because it's gonna make you look glamorous and stunning with just a couple easy steps who does not want that right so we're gonna jump right into the video right over here but wait wait a minute before we move on to the video, remember to help this girl right here get to a hundred subscribers. A hundred subscribers. I just want a hundred subscribers. Once we get a hundred subscribers, we'll keep climbing from there little by little, but just a hundred subscribers. But anyways, how can we get there? By liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Remember to tell your friends, your family, your enemies, your cousins, your primos, your primas, your abuelos, your bisabuelos. Remember to tell anybody and everyone about my channel so we can get rolling rolling like a river rolling like a river okay anyways let's move right into the video right over here okay guys to start off we're gonna start off with um, the Tarte Shape Tape Contour Concealer in the shade light medium it looks like this we're gonna start by applying it a little amount because a little amount of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer goes a very long way so we're gonna start with a little amount Put it placing it on our eyelids and we're gonna dab it with the beauty blender with a damp beauty blender Next, using a brush kind of like this, um, it's called the Brightening Brush from Olimar. Using a brush like this, and we're going to be using the setting powder from Lancome. Um, what is it called? Oh, translucent. Just translucent powder from Lancome. It looks like this. We're going to open it and just place a little bit of powder on your eyelids to set your eyelids. But first, before setting your eyelids, make sure you go back with the Beauty Blender. Make sure you dab it out, make sure there's no creases, and then you're gonna go in with a little bit of powder and just set your eye, just like that. Same with the next eye. To start on the eyes, we're going to start with the Morphe 15 Deep Eyeshadow Palette. We're going to start by using this shade right here. It's called Natural as the whole base to the eyeshadow look. So we're going to be applying it on our whole eyelid on both eyes. To apply the um, shade Natural, we're going to be using the Morphe M573 brush. It looks like this. It's very fluffy. It's not so dense. It's very fluffy to apply the eyeshadow. Once we're done applying the base, we are going to go into our next shade from the same palette. And we're going to be using this shade right here. It's called Desert. It's a very chocolatey brown that we're going to be using for the outer corner of our eyelid using a brush kind of like this. If you see, it's, um, it's dense, but not that dense. I don't know if you guys can really get a really good glimpse at it. It's dense, but not that dense. And this is the MBM Doll Brush in 227. It's a Luxie Soft Definer Brush. Um, it's from the brand My Beauty Mark. Make sure to go check them out. So we're gonna start by applying the eyeshadow right in the outer corner, working ourselves kind of in halfway, but not as much. Bringing it a little bit high into our brow bone, but not so much as well. We'll see it in the next step.
okay once we're done applying the eyeshadow it does it is gonna look a little bit messy it's okay nobody's gonna be watching you so it will look messy it's okay so we're gonna get another morphe brush it's gonna be a very very fluffy brush it's gonna be a very clean brush why because we are gonna use this clean brush to go in and soften where we apply the eyeshadow so it won't be so like rough we're gonna go out to the outside there you go and then the same thing to the other eye just to soften the blend It looks weird right now, but it's okay. It's okay. Trust the process. Trust the process. Okay, once we're done applying the eyeshadow, we're going to go back with the same brush we used for the shade Natural, for the base shade, and we're going to go in and soften in the top. Just like that. It looks creepy so far, but it's okay. So just like that. And the same thing to the other eye. So we're going to soften the blend. Just blend it in all together. Okay. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Now we are gonna go in for with the brow bone, and for the brow bone, we are gonna be using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea eyeshadow palette. If we're gonna be using this shade right here, it's called Escape. You kind of really can't tell what type of shade it is, but it's like a very shimmery, sparkly shade. And for the brow bone, we are gonna be using a very small brush. It's gonna look like this, very very tiny brush. To it's a very precise brush to get into your brow bone. We're gonna be alternating within brush because we're gonna start with the eyeshadow for the brow bone just placing it in the brow bone Now we're gonna go in with that brush that was clean at the beginning and just blend in the highlight with the eyeshadow, just like that, so it won't be such a harsh line. And the same for the other. So this is how our eyeshadow look is coming out so far. We are going to go in with our inner corner now and for our inner corner we're going to be using this very small brush. Very very precise brush. It's from Morphe. It does not have a number. We are going to be spritzing it with the Mario Badescu spray if you can really tell because it really fades out so you really can't tell. So the Mario Badescu spray and we're going to be using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea um, eyeshadow palette. I guess it's volume 2. I didn't realize it. Oh 3. Volume 3. And we're going to be using the shade Heat Wave and Compass. It's these two shades right here. We're going to be using these two shades for our inner corner. So let's get started with that.
once we're done applying this shimmer into our inner corner of our eye as you can see it's not really blended out it's just kind of like stamped on there so far so we're going to go back in with the same brush we used for the shade desert which was the the second shade we actually used for our eyes we're going to use the same brush and just go in there and just like clean it up just blend it in just swoop it like kind of like like if you were sweeping just sweep it in and the same thing for the other eye I'm going to bring the eyeshadow in a little bit more to kind of define it and in right here just to give it its own little Now if you see that during the look you need a little bit more eyeshadow that's perfectly fine. You can add a little bit more. It's best that you add than you take away. Okay, so so far this is how the look is coming out. I feel like it's coming out pretty good. We're going to finish off our full face off of the camera and then I'm going to come back and do my under eye and apply some falsies. Okay, so we'll be right back in like three, two, one. And just like that, we are back. So now we are going to do the under eye. For the under eye, we are going to go back in with the shade Desert. For the under eye and we're going to be using a very very small dense brush it's jh42 which is from the jacqueline um um brushes that she took out one time it looks like this and then we're just going to get a little bit of the shade and just start applying And then some and the same to the other eye. And then we're gonna get another brush and just blend it out. So to blend it out, we're just gonna use just a brush like this and just sweep. Sweep, same to the other one. And then get the same brush and just bring it a little bit lower. Okay, for the final step, we are going to be, be <laughs> applying eyelashes. And to apply lashes, we're first going to start by curling the lashes. We're going to curl. Then we will be applying mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use the Hank and Henry Duo Mascara. And I'm going to use the bigger end to apply my mascara.
all right guys we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial if you guys have any other suggestions of any other tutorial you guys would like to see make sure to leave it down in the comments um make sure to like comment share and subscribe make sure to tell your tia your tío your abuelo your abuela your bisabuelo your cousins your friends your enemies make sure to tell anyone and everybody to tune into my channel to subscribe we're trying to get to the goal of a hundred subscribers so let's get this going let's keep climbing that mountain i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys god bless you guys peace